All right, now we're going to do a rainbow butterfly. The simplest way of doing a rainbow butterfly is to put white on your sponge first and then line up all the colours you want to use. Now you can use any colour combination you want depending on what the little person is wearing. So closing your eyes softly. The butterfly I'm going to do today, I'm going to keep it nice and simple and I'm just going to press down with that sponge I've already loaded. Very good girl. Now reversing the sponge, we're just going to come down now for the bottom part of the butterfly wing. Very still. Good girl. And that's the base of the butterfly. So we've got all that rainbow. Whenever you're sponging, don't move the sponge up and down, just keep it in the same place. And the longer that you do that and the longer you blend, the more it will look like airbrush. I'm going to do a very, very scalloped, in simple scalloped edge around the butterfly. I'm just going to press a comma stroke and bring it down. Press a comma stroke and bring it down. And then we're going to come in, in, and in. And the same on the other side. Just to give the edge of that butterfly wing. Beautiful. Very still in the same thing here. I felt that chair move then. <laughs> Very still. What a beautiful girl you are. What a lovely model I have. And then for the middle of the butterfly, what I like about this butterfly is I don't like to cover too much paint in here because it doesn't feel very comfortable for the little ones. This one is nice because it sits just on the outside of the eyes and is more comfortable to wear. So in the middle, what we're going to do with our black paint and our round brush is just a little dot there and a little dot there. All right, now what I'm going to do is with a script liner, just make the antenna of the butterfly. So as you can see where the edge of the sponge lays, there's a bit of a raw edge. The quickest way to remove that is just by putting little dots on top of that edge, which starts to detail up how the butterfly looks and gets rid of that edge. We're also going to just put a few lines up here or a few dots up here just to add a bit of detailing to this very pretty butterfly. And you can pretty well put the dots wherever you like, just as a bit of detailing. But so simple, because they're only dots, but they're very, very effective. Now when you first do this design, if you're not happy with the black lines and they're too heavy, then just on top of the black line, you can place the dots and that'll thin it out even more. Let's have a look at our beautiful butterfly. Give us a big beautiful butterfly smile, gorgeous girl. Is that it? Come on, big butterfly smile. Much better. <laughs> Good girl.